now we're leaving this hotel as we can go somewhere. And because we're not in Orlando, it's where we're going. Yep, that's right. That's where we're going. But first, we're gonna stop at IHOP. Well, those were the best four seconds of my life. Before we go into the Bush Gardens Tampa, we were aware that a few days ago, Iron Gwazi would be closed on January 2nd through the 5th. We were both very distraught and upset when we found out about it, but it is what it is. We're gonna eventually try to have the best time there. Because, you know, I've always wanted to go to Bush Gardens Tampa, and the place does look beautiful from what I've seen on the internet. Okay, so I don't have a full battery on my phone, so I'm gonna try to get as much in for this video today. But over there, we got Iron Wazi. Despite its clothes, it looks like an absolute monster. And as I'm documenting this, it looks like we're heading over to the park right now. And we're also gonna act like Iron Gwazi is still under construction and it's closed because hypothetically, the pandemic is still going on. Because <laughs> last month I got COVID and it was not fun. <laughs> but doing much better now. <laughs> well, there it is. Doesn't make noise. All right, we passed through the jungles of fury. Oh, the beautiful parking lot. Me and Griffin are one of the first two people to be here. Christmas is already over and they're still doing their Christmas event. Why? I love how there's no one guarding the metal detectors. All right, and I'm the first person to step foot into the park. Here we go, Bush Gardens, Tampa. All right, Griffin knows this way, so he told me that I think we should go to Cheetah Hunt first. Look at Blasby, oh my God. Uh, it's huge! Why are they still playing Christmas music? Run. I can't catch up. Where is Cheetah Hunt? Why is it far? There you are. That is a cool cue line. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Okay, Cheetah Hunt was decent. I think we're gonna head over to Cobra's Curse next. All right, looks like our next ride's gonna be Cobra's Curse. Tons and tons of female. I think this used to be a pre-show section. A little pre-show in working, but uh, that's very cool. That was definitely a one and done ride, but I like the theming. That was cool. Let's see what it takes to ride Montu. So far, this day is going by very smoothly. Wait times are not too long, and yeah. Looks like the back row is ours. This thing's also running one train as well.
Okay, we did one ride on Montu, and it's very close to Alpengeist. I, I will say, Montu is amazing. Sixteen paranoia-filled days later. This has to be one of the coolest things I've seen at a park. Okay, giraffe. Say Colorado. Oh, giraffe! All right, it's starting to rain now. Perfect timing since we're now entering the jungle. All right, I have one thing to say. endangered species out there. Here we got Falcon's Fury, which the wall has been blocked off. Uh, I'd say we do Scorpion. Psych! I changed my mind. We're actually going to do Sand Serpent first because I know for a fact that most mock ride wild mouse coasters cannot run in rain and it is slightly drizzling. Okay, all I'm gonna say is credit, forget it. It's a fucking wild mouse. So now we're gonna head on to Scorpion X. This is gonna be my second Schwarzkopf looping roller coaster I'll ride. It looks like a walk on too. So we're definitely in for some luck today. Okay, this Schwarzkopf coaster was, uh, that was cool, but personally I prefer Super Duper Looper. It's kind of a hot take. That was one done. Yeah, I know, Griffin liked Scorpion. <laughs> All right, let's get on another cloned overrated piece of <laughs> Doesn't even stay the wait time, but yeah. It's time to go on Tigress. <laughs> Tigress, not fast and pesto, but still a credit and four. <laughs> so within an hour and a half so far, I just need two more coasters and I'll be done. All right, it's time to get on Kumba, one of my other most anticipated coasters for my trip to Florida. Another BNM with one train operations, Ooh. but that's okay because there's hardly a way. Let's see if Kumba is just as good as everyone makes it out to be. So many years, I finally get to finally get to experience Kumba. I'll say zero zero, very good. Cobra really good. Everything else just felt like a BNM from the late '90s and early 2000s. It's kind of overrated. I'm sorry, but it's still a very good ride. I, I do enjoy it, but I personally think Montu's better. One minute thirty seven seconds later. You know, it's very crazy to think that a BNM that's 30 years old still runs so good, and even built like this too. So, in case you didn't see, we did a front row ride on Kumba. I think this is probably a front row ride. What do you think? Yeah, definitely a front row ride. Yeah, got a lot of wind. Yes! You know, that cover roll's menacing. It's very fun for what it is. Got a tiger sleeping, not bothering to even wake up and face us. All right, so we're gonna do the walk for him because why not? Didn't think I would get that wet, but uh, yeah, that's a lot of bloom, all right? Yeah, I was I will say we were on a lock flume. We were on a lock flume. <sighs> Why this again? Look at this, there's Shikra. Unfortunately, it's not open, but looks like a very fun dive coaster. Not sure if it would be Griffin at Williamsburg. And no, I'm not referring to you. 
But yeah, looks cool. More birdies. Watch the brains over here! All right, let's head this way. Here, okay, let's Sesame Street land and here for another credit and for credit. Hypothetically, we have a credit completion for Tampa. Definitely gonna come back to get, especially you, motherfucker. And hey, we got more pink chickens right here. There it is, Zion Guazi. Unfortunately, it is not open. But I gotta say, from a non-rider's perspective, it looks like a top tier RMC. Here's the entrance. And we got a sign right here saying it will quickly open back up as possible. Yep. There's no activity in the station either. No train, no worker, nothing. No nothing. We got the death roll right there, and the wave turn right there. You can imagine the airtime on those moments being absolutely insane. 15 minutes later. Alright, let's get back on Montu. It looks like we're waiting in the front row. It's gonna be one hell of a wait, but you know something? Definitely worth it. Okay, front row on Montu was something. <laughs> yeah, it was, might be better than Alpen Guys. Yeah, I mean, back row on Alpen Guys better, but front row Montu, whoa. Three weeks later. All right, and we decided to come back on Kumba because why not? Okay, this thing definitely warmed up. Yeah, absolutely. Still not Hulk good, but it's very good for sure. Many months later. All right, let's go back on Cheetah Hunt. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. So at the front of the entrance, it was posted that there was a 35 minute wait and it's been like, what, five minutes since we got to the switchbacks and we're already here. Why the f you lying? Why you always lying? Cheetah hunt in the back row was actually good. My initial thoughts, I wouldn't say it's a family coaster, nor is it a thrill coaster, but wait, is that a support in the, in the shop? That's sick, I've never seen anything like this. All right, time to get back on the Goat of Inverts. Now we're riding the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Pittsburgh Steelers. Despite that's running one train, f that, I'm still riding it. All right, this certainly warmed up. Came off very dizzy. <laughs> has reclaimed the title as my favorite invert. Friggin' love Montu. A little later. Here we got the actual Iron Guazi right here. Speaking of Iron Guazi, we're now passing it again. The best lawn ornament in the SeaWorld entertainment industry. Griffin's trying to get a uh, Iron Guazi Squish Mellow. They, they don't have them over there, but we're gonna head over to the Emporium. But here we're passing the lawn ornament again. Oh man, they had no squishmallows. They got the t-shirts and hats. Moments later. So while Griffin was doing some shopping and stuff, I decided to sit down over there and take a rest. And I've been told that Shikra was testing with no people on it. <laughs> Not saying that Shikra would open, but I'm gonna go check and see for myself. Now I really haven't seen a test yet, but I do see that the ground is wet for the splash zone. So I guess that is a way to kind of indicate that 
it's been testing. Oh, there we go. Now it's testing. All right, so we were told by an employee by the front of Figra that this is probably gonna open around mid-January. Good to see that they're working on Shikra. So I think we are pretty content with everything. We've ridden as much rides as we can ride. It is now quarter past four, so I'd say a ride or two on Kumba, and then we'll head out. All right, we're about to get in line for our Kumba, and this is like the only time to get to line. I love how the warning sign it says keep head red. All right, what a way to end this incredible trip with one final ride on Kumba. Very amazing B&M looper. All right, so we're gonna be heading out now. It's, uh, what time is it now? It's around five o'clock. All right, so it's now around five o'clock. We're gonna go back to our hotel and head back to Philadelphia tomorrow. We're buying extra motivation for the next stop. All right, look at that. Extra trip and extra motivation. That's what I wanna hear. Well, that does it for Bush Gardens. Tampa. All right. Awesome day. Yes, we did. Yeah, I felt like we went back in time before Gwazi even opened to the public. Back during the good old COVID years. <laughs> now we just gotta wait for our ride because we are heading back to our hotel. We gotta rest up and then we fly back tomorrow morning. Here you can see Tampa from up here. Super cool. All right, so this is where I go into the voiceover now. After spending several hours at Busch Gardens Tampa, we ended up having a really fantastic time even with some rides being closed. By the time we got back home, we did hear that Iron Gwazi was running trains with guests on them. In other words, it was open. As coaster enthusiasts, it was even more vexing for us as it had to be open the day we left Florida. Although the website did say that it would be closed on January 2nd to the 5th, which were all the days we've been in Florida. Even though we were a bit skeptical about it because we weren't sure whether it would be open the next day, but even if it ended up not opening tomorrow, we still would have left anyway. But I think most importantly, we had an absolute blast here for our four days. And I will definitely look into returning to Florida one day, not just for a redemption visit to Busch Gardens, but also the amazing redeeming factors that are offered in Orlando. And I'd like to thank Griffin for coming with me on this amazing trip. All right, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this video because if you did, please go ahead and leave a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.